former South African President Jacob Zuma will today ask the nation's top court to release him from jail by residing its 15-month sentence for snubbing anti-graft investigators. Zuma will be challenging his sentence in the Constitutional Court partly on the grounds of what he says is his frail health and the risk of catching COVID-19. His lawyers earlier petitioned the Peter Marysburg High Court in KwaZulu-Natal to staff off imprisonment, but the court on Friday rejected the case, saying it lacked jurisdiction over the matter and Zuma's claim about his health were not supported by evidence. The former president testified to the commission once in July 2019, but then swiftly withdrew his cooperation, saying he was offended by being treated as an accused and not as a witness. Mr. Zuma is no ordinary litigant. He is the former president of the Republic of South Africa, who continues to wield significant political influence and in whom lies a great deal of power to incite others to similarly defy court orders. The Constitutional Court on June 29 sentenced Zuma to jail for refusing to appear before a probe in the corruption that merged his nine years in power. Meanwhile, more than 60 people have been arrested by the South African police as violence and looting spread across the country following the jailing of the former president. The supporters of Jacob Zuma first took to the streets after the 79-year-old handed himself to authorities on Wednesday to begin a 15-month sentence. Police, however, said criminals are taking advantage of the protest which spread from his own province of KwaZulu-Natal to Johannesburg in Guateng. Kamil Sadiq, CBA TV.